Today I'm flying with Fly B from Belfast City to Glasgow on board one of their Dash 8 Q400s to see how much the service has improved since they went bankrupt in 2020. So welcome to Mac Aviation and let's go fly. So good afternoon from George Best, Belfast City Airport, where today I'm flying Flyb 2.0 to Glasgow. The check-in area is open plan and security ran very smoothly and only took about 5 minutes. There's also a little duty free shop which you pass through just after security. I was then surprised to see how busy the departure lounge was. Luckily I found a table at the Artisan restaurant and the food there was really good. At this point, I had the pain of watching my aircraft that I was meant to be flying on tonight get towed to the maintenance stand, and that's when the flight was delayed by an hour and a half. This aircraft was only taken out of storage three days prior to my flight, and unfortunately it suffered a hydraulic leak, but of course this wasn't the airline's fault. So I sat in the Starbucks and watched the aircraft come and go out on the apron. Eventually, we began boarding for the flight using a replacement aircraft. That aircraft is registered Golf Dash Echo Charlie Oscar Echo, a de Havilland Canada Dash 8 Q400, which was re delivered to Fly B in April after being impounded by Southampton Airport when they went bankrupt back in 2020. I flew on this aircraft previously in 2017. It's good to see Fly B back. Welcome on board. My seat for tonight's flight is 2A. Let's get ready for departure. Good evening, everybody. Welcome aboard this flight. Your service now departing for Glasgow. Thank you for joining us and apologies for the uh, delay to this service due to some operational disruption. Really apologise for that. But uh, we've got a great team here tonight uh, and we'll be um, making headway over to Glasgow as quickly and as safely as we can. Your safety card is in your seat area. It describes the emergency equipment and procedures on board. Please study it carefully. After departure tonight from runway 04 at Belfast City, we banked right back towards Glasgow, before turning left to land on runway 23. Today's flight time was 29 minutes, cruising at just 11,000 feet. Flyby went bankrupt back in March 2020, and the lockdown caused by COVID-19 was the last nail in the coffin. Aircraft were left lifeless at bases across the country and were just left there. Virgin made an effort to revive the airline as Virgin Connect, but failed. But then in April 2022, Flyby took flight once again from its bases in Belfast City and Birmingham. They're now rebuilding their fleet and crew 
to eventually be the fly bee we all used to know and love. Shortly after departure, the crew came round with a complimentary juice, water and biscuit service. And on longer flights, they also have tea and coffee. Now having a look around the seat area, you'll find some important safety information on the back of the tray table. The table itself isn't adjustable, but has an indent for a drink. There's also a small storage pouch containing the safety card and a sick bag. The legroom is good for a regional aircraft with a 30 inch seat pouch. All of Flybe's new aircraft have had their cabins replaced, so it felt very fresh. And I will say I was really impressed by the cleanliness of the whole cabin. The lavatories were also very clean, but the Q400 definitely has the smallest and most cramped that I've ever seen. The lights of Glasgow soon came into view and we began our short descent into runway 23. So welcome back to Glasgow after that fabulous flight with Fly B. Overall the Q400 is a great little aircraft and Fly B are a great little airline. I didn't mind the delay as Fly B couldn't help the issue with the aircraft. They dealt with the situation really well and put us on a replacement aircraft really quickly. But overall Fly B does have a reputation for being on time, so this was just a small trip up. The cabin was really clean and the crew were excellent, the best I've ever had. At the end of the flight, I also had the opportunity to visit the flight deck, where the captain gave me a full tour. Anyway, I hope that you found this review helpful and informative. If you did, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to see future content. Until next time, thanks a lot for watching, take care.